With the market rallying nicely for the second day in a row, I think it's worth revisiting some companies that reported during the ugly days of last week uh, to make sure that we didn't miss anything. Take Fortinet, FTNT, the cybersecurity company, major player in the unified threat management business. What exactly does that mean? Okay, Fortinet offers a comprehensive integrated suite of cybersecurity products and services that allow their clients to detect and eliminate complex threats without completely locking down their computer systems. Historically, Fortinet has had a lot of success with small and medium-sized businesses. Lately, it's been gaining traction with larger ones, too. And let's not forget, President Obama is proposing $14 billion of cybersecurity spending in his new budget, perhaps one of the few parts of it that the Republicans in Congress might agree with. Now, Fortinet reported last Wednesday delivering inline earnings and higher-than-expected revenues, up 26.3% year-over-year, very strong billings growth, 35%. But the company's guidance for the next quarter in 2015 somewhat spooked investors because they plan to invest heavily to grow their business, something they made clear on the conference call. That's why the stock dropped two bucks the next day, even though the quarter was actually pretty darn robust. It's been coming back since then. The Fortinet's begun to bounce back because I think it has real upside at these levels when you start drilling down past just the nitty gritty. But don't take it from me. Let's check in with Drew Del Motto. He's Fortinet's chief financial officer. Learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Del Motto, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. Obviously, Pleasure thank you. Here. Thank you. You know, I was going to ask you what's behind the 35% growth in bookings, but I think what's behind it is what's behind us. Can you show me what <laughs> I think is actually, and I had a chance to look at it before you came out, a pretty frightening scenario? So this is Fortinet, Fortinet's threat map. And so you could see real-time threats, threats that are happening in real time. And this is developed uh, by our FortiGuard Labs team. We have a huge group of global security professionals around the world, global security experts. And they're providing this information to illustrate basically what's going on right now. These are real-time threats. And also what they do is they provide these updates, among others. You won't see everything here right. because not everything's shared, quite frankly. But they're providing these real-time updates to our customers. All right, so let's say I'm a CEO of a company that just is in that red circle right in the in dead, dead center yep. of the United States. I mean, and you come to see me, you make a sales pitch. I mean, I, I have to believe that there's, this is all around me. I've got to take your product. That's right. I would say that, look, you need to make security first, which I think is a, right. a big issue right now. The threats, are, the threats are not only increasing, they're becoming more severe, so you need to be aware of that. And you really need to buy security first, bring versus buying security is just an add-on to a network, if you will. It sounds, when I talk with CEOs now and I ask them what's really bothering them, they, they don't talk about the quarter, they don't talk about margin, they don't talk about Europe, they don't talk right. about China. They talk about cybersecurity. The president, one of the few things that looks like he has any, any successes in terms of across the aisle, cybersecurity, how bad is it right now? Yeah, I think it's bad. I think it's ongoing, and I don't see much abatement in sight. Uh, Look at it. I mean, people, you know, a year ago we are talking about Target and credit cards. Right. And now we're talking about Sony. So we've gone from credit cards to crisis, if you will. Uh, quite frankly, you know, it's, we were talking about transactions and companies' information. Mm -hmm. But now I think corporations, boards of directors, C-level people need to realize they're actually stewards of personal information. People's intimate photos are actually right. being stolen. Our, you know, my intimate photos could be stolen. Nobody wants those, but they might want yours, Jim. Possible. <laughs> Okay, uh, banks. I check my bank account now literally every day. Right to do or wrong to do? Uh, good idea. I really? think always check on your information. It's that, I mean, it's that possible, huh? Yeah, I it's think anything possible. is possible. Anything. They can take a little bit, take a lot. Anything's possible. Right. And how about, yeah. what does the Sony situation tell us in terms of new cyber, new level of cyber warfare? I think it's just an escalation. I think uh, we heard President Obama talk about cyber terrorism. Right. So that's just... Uh, an example of how the threats are becoming more severe. Okay, when I go over your conference call, it's very clear that you are not just going after the little guys, you've got some big guys, and you're taking business from the majors. What value proposition are you offering that you're making it so that major companies are losing share to you? Um, we, we offer um, a best, in, best of breed integrated security fabric. And so best of breed matters because mm -hmm. people have traditionally bought network security as part of a network kind of a side dish, if you will. Right. Security really needs to be the main course. Integration matters simply because you want threads that work together. Um, it's, when it's cold outside, you don't really buy spools of thread. You actually buy a coat. You need that fully integrated protection. Integration matters just like it does in an iPod or an iPad where everything wants to work, not, where you want everything to work nicely together, seamlessly. There are no holes. Uh, no breaches in between. And that's, that's what we actually offer. Well, in the call, you make it very clear that you're going to have to, you have to spend more. Now, a lot of people were turned off by the spend, but it sounds like you've got to get the right people, and you've got to get smarter people than the bad guys. Is that really possible? 
Uh, that's right. We have been. And I mean, if you look at our investments, they have been paying off. I mean, we more than uh, doubled our rate of growth last year. We grew 3x faster than the market. And that's what we're really trying to go after. But that's all about getting the right people to deliver the right message in the right place. We keep hearing about Europe as weak. They're spending like mad about cybersecurity in Europe, judging by your figures. That's right. We have a great team in place in Europe, and uh, we've done exceedingly well there. We've been very focused um, on enterprise customers there and made some investments early in the year that have paid off. We hope those continue to pay off, and we're trying to replicate that globally. All right. Can I just ask for the map again? Do you, are you able to put the map? Because I want to ask, what is, if you looked at this Blu-ray, what's the most frightening thing happening right now? Well, look, there's a variety of things going on there. I think if you look at the red, those are the most critical of the attacks. These could be uh, denial of service attacks, they could be botnet attacks, botnet attacks, these could be massive spam attacks, and so on. So I think they're all very worrisome, quite frankly. Wow. I'm worried, too. <laughs> I, tell I think you. it just illustrates the, uh, the severity know, of the issue. I know no one's spending enough. I know the banks aren't spending enough. I know whole countries aren't spending enough. They need Fortinet. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It's very sobering. It's a sobering look at things. I hadn't thought of it like that. That's Drew Delmato. He's the CFO of Fortinet, FTNT. Because they spend a lot, the stock's not as high as it should be. Maybe it should be much higher. Maybe money's back in for the break.